All right, Shalom. I'd like to say, call Allah, Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakak, Kwadash. No one understood that was the Apostle's great millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. Underneath the standard in the banner of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, and I just want to do a quick little <coughs> Salaki um, breakdown of a couple of scriptures that this uh this article is in regards to you know um of course we all know that the so-called white man is satan and the whole world knows it now okay according to uh isaiah uh one second Isaiah, all right. Uh, I'm gonna be reading back and forth from the uh, screen and uh, tablet here. Isaiah, the Forty-seven, forty-five, forty-seven. All right. Because now, you know, the whole world is caught on to uh, the tricks of the so-called white man, which is Esau Edom. All right. Esau Edom thinks that he is a a smooth delegator. All right, and can keep running game on all these uh, countries, man. All right, and the Lord has it now where his so-called mouth is not a uh, magical like it used to be. Okay, I'm just gonna put it like that. Or he doesn't have the spirit, not magical, but he doesn't have the spirit of the heavenly father uh blinding people for him okay cut now it's time for him to be taken out of power all right so as you can see in the corner right here you know it's a lot of people uh putting down america and it's rightfully so because it's due to the heavenly father scriptures all right this place is on its last leg it's about to be exposed and um, demolished, man. Okay, thus said the scriptures. All right. So, um, well, let me read a little bit of the article. And, you know, it's from RT already, as you can see. It says, negotiating with the devil bears no fruit. Iran's revolutionary guard on talks with the U.S. Okay. And it was published uh, yesterday. All right. Today is the 27th, which is so-called uh, Veterans Day for America. So much so that uh, President of the United States is not where he needs to be, which is in the uh, the famous cemetery over here, or in Washington D.C. at the uh, Soldiers Memorial. He's on some type of uh, trip. Okay, some type of uh, how can you say it? some type of American business trip or some bullshit like that? So that just goes to show you that the president that's in office right now is the epitome of America, and this place will be taken out very shortly. All right, America has no more uh, American pride, so to speak. Okay, so it says talking with Washington is acting. I, akin to talking with the devil straight out <laughs> a senior official with Iran's Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps which is the IRGC for short okay said downplaying the US military presence in the region as the weakest in history so to all those people that believe that America is still strong 
you're sadly mistaken, okay? Because you don't read uh, uh, articles about your so-called government or your so-called military being the weakest, or you just don't read, period, okay? Negotiating with the devil, the Quran says, bears no fruit. The deputy commander of the RGC, Rear Admiral Ali Fadiv, said, as cited by Forest News Agency in the <coughs> the <coughs> Salaki in the uh, scriptures said also and I'm gonna get it real quick And this is Ecclesiastes 12 and 10. It says, Never trust thy enemy for like as iron rusted, so it's his wickedness. Okay. So the scriptures also said, also, okay, because we all know that iron's rust, iron rust, okay. So that's in a, a, a way of saying that if you trust your enemy, don't you know that he, he's going to flip on you? It doesn't matter. Okay. Fadiv made his remark while talking about the long time lack of effective negotiation between Tehran and Washington. He also did not mince his words on the state of the U.S. military presence in the region, labeling it the weakest in its history. The influence of Saudi Arabia, a U.S. major ally in arms by in the Middle East, has also been diminished over the years the official added okay and then you have this uh metal report it says iran can sink u.s ships with new secret weapons senior military official wants yeah so it's it's going down in the middle east man okay this is where the scriptures say that the the lord should bring all the troops all right, for Armageddon, man. All right, and I'm not gonna get the scripture, but uh, it just goes to show you, man, that this place is about to get turned on its head real soon, man. It says the Pentagon deployed the U.S. Abraham Lincoln carrier strike group near the Persian Gulf in early May and sent three guided missile destroyers to join it earlier this week. Tehran had been downplaying the buildup of U.S. forces near its water but said that, that its Navy is prepared to target the American ships should a conflict break out. Iran partially suspended its commitments under the 2015 deal on its nuclear program. Okay, and when they did that, they quad quadrupled, okay, the uh, the uh, production in in um, what's it called? Uh, it's escaping me right now. Uh, stuff that they make to the stuff that they produce to put inside our nuclear warheads, okay known as the JCPOA after several rounds of sanctions from Washington which unilaterally withdrew from the agreement last year. Iranian officials promised to roll back the decision if the European Union continues to respect the deal. And the European Union is having their own problem right now with uh, the Brit exit man. So they can't own nothing right now. So that's why uh, in the the past few weeks they quadrupled their uh uranium enrichment program that's what it was okay and you can check that out uh washington and tehran have not had formal diplomatic ties since 1980 iran diplomats recently told Reuters that the foreign minister mohammed javed sarif had never directly spoken with the u.s counterpart mac pampio which is a lie okay but as you can see man the Lord has did his uh, magnificent work in exposing uh, Satan to the fullest, man. Okay. 
like it says in Isaiah 47, it says, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, but thou shalt no more be called tender and delicate. Take the minstrels, take the milestone and grind mill, uncover the locks, make bed the leg, or come the thigh, pass over the river. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered, yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. And that's another thing that's happening. <clears throat> okay. Through all these uh, storms and tempests, uh, uh, mishaps and calamities, uh, degradation on the streets of America, which is, uh, you know, fallen uh, uh, infrastructure. Okay. This place is crumbling right in front of the so-called uh, white man's eyes which is the Esau which is Esau Edom all right and it's no denying it this is over for this place it's nothing that they can do okay and it's meant to be that way all right go on and put some more uh, get a couple of more scriptures and then I'm gonna close it out this is Isaiah 33 and 1. It says, Woe to thee that spoilest, and thou wast not spoiled, and dealt, dealest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled, and when thou shalt make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. Okay, so that's a part of being um, naked now. Okay, just like you did uh, anybody who ever took the war which from the Native Americans all the way over to these other uh, nations, man, okay? These people physically never did harm to um, the so-called white man first. He always took it to them first, okay? And because of that, and now the day and age that we live and you know, you got the hate speech thing out there, you got the... Uh, the we're not racist movement out there um there's so many facets that the white man is trying to deal with uh deal with with the problems that he set up for himself on the low by making it as extreme for everybody else he calls uh these people terrorists and when i say these people i mean the islamic world they call them terrorists but they never came over here and, and, and did anything but mind their business in their own countries. So now, you know, you're going to get judged for that as well as, first and foremost, messing with the apple of the Lord's eye, which are the Native Americans that were over here in the, the, uh, the Northern Kingdom, okay? Because they never dealt treacherously with you either. And, you know, like it says in Joel, the third chapter, that's, that's the beginning of it all, period. All right. And this is going to be the uh, the end result. Okay. Ecclesiastes 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And those people that the kingdom is getting ready to be translated to is the nation of Israel, the northern and the southern kingdom. We are going to rule the earth in righteousness because you have fumbled the ball because the Lord made you form of the ball and when I say the Lord Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai okay that's the way that he designed you okay you live by the sword now you're gonna die by the sword through the hands of uh, <coughs> Gog and Magog and uh, various other nations teaming up like it says in Jeremiah the 50, um, 51st chapter alright so it's going down, man, and there's no way to stop it, and it's a lovely thing, man, you know, but I'm not going to be uh, long-winded on this, but, you know, it's a beautiful thing to see the powers that be, which is Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, doing that wonderful work upon the earth, all right?